We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, welcome to Fridge Camp. My name's Ben and this is Jamie. Now usually you know the score with these. Mike buys a load of turt off the internet and gets us to review it. But what happens if you spend more money on the tut? Jamie, are you ready for some quality gadge? These have been bought from a well-known UK cooking store, not just off of Amazon. Oh. So we'll see if that makes any difference. OK. Whatsoever. We've put some effort in. <gasps> Fantastic. This looks dangerous. Can I just say one thing before you get too hands-on? <laughs> ah! Handle with care. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thumb with care. <laughs> oh, wow. OK. I think I know what it is. Shoo! This looks like I'm going to put something in there. And whilst I turn it, that is going to peel it. This is the Betty Bossy Veggie Sheet Slicer. Courgettes, potatoes, beetroot, carrot, all those lovely raw vegetables can be transformed into flat sheets that can be used to reinvent your favourite dishes. Almost impossible to do by hand. No, you have to use a knife. I think if you try to use your hand, it will actually be really hard. <laughs> See, instantly, if you have a bendy bit of veg, it doesn't work very well. Have you ever needed courgette sheets? No, but I can understand how people would because they want to make a courgette lasagna. OK, we're in. Oh, we're finished. <laughs> We got in and then we finished. <laughs> <laughs> you would definitely struggle to do that on your own, although it's possible. I mean, let's be honest, this is probably focused at marketing towards the people who are trying to cut down on carbohydrates. I feel like I'd have to chop a button out squash <laughs> within pigs. an inch of its life just <laughs> yeah. to get the sheets out of it. It's all right. I'm not thrilled by it. It, kind of, it does the job, kind of, mostly. The actual gadget itself scares the absolute out of me. <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that you presented it to me and you already have a bandage on your thumb yeah, is not I didn't a good read the start. To be no, but um, it's like a mouse trap. How much do you reckon it is? Thirty pounds. Fifteen pounds? It's um $39.99. It's what? That's too expensive. <laughs> 40 pounds. That is a very expensive way to lose a thumb. Dumb. Lift yeah. it. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Wow, how interesting. It's like a mini chopper. What is that going to do? It's not chopping. It's a tiny salad spinner. Oils. I want to say oils and Keep going. spa <gasps> mayonnaise. Oh. Is it a mayonnaise maker? Something to make mayonnaise in. There you go. He's a chef. He's got two out of two. This is the manual sauce and mayonnaise maker by Betty Bossy. Betty Bossy. <laughs> <laughs> if you think it's too much bother to make your own mayonnaise, hollandaise, or sauce tartare, then let us introduce to you the simplicity itself Betty Bossy sauce and mayo maker. <laughs> this compact marvel makes all those sauces and more, including bernays and Dijon sauce. Oh, I like bernays. Mm -hmm. I prefer Bernays. Well, this claims to make sauce in 60 seconds. So, aioli, how would you make it, mate? Oil, oil poured very slowly, and then eggs. Whisk, 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 whisk. So, I'm going to put some garlic, egg yolk, teaspoon of mustard. Thanks for the teaspoon. Teaspoon of lemon juice. And then I'm going to put more oil in the top here, mm -hmm. and slowly press down to release my oil whilst I'm stirring. Go. Now you're a chef, aren't you? So making mayonnaise, making mayonnaise is far so too easy for you. Do you think you could test a bernays? Oh man, okay. Well, it comes with a lovely booklet which has some recipes in it. Their stock is white wine, white wine vinegar, shallot, and bay leaf and peppercorns. So the stock, what is your reduction? That's not stock. Big difference here from your recipe is the fact that you're not going to be applying any heat to that egg. Half a tablespoon for one egg yolk, maybe. Three, two, two one. one. Stop. Stop. It just worked. Oh. oh, look at that. It's looking good. Let's have a look. Here we go. 
That works. It's completely mixed it. That was little to no effort. It's very hard to add the fat too quickly. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing, because it's never going to split. I don't think it's quite as good as if you'd make it in a pan. OK. It's a little bit heavier, but it is delicious. How much do you think that gadget costs? Obviously, it's all manual. It's not electric at all. You're, you're, you're still doing the work, but it is quite a smart, I'm going to use the word nifty, little, little gadget. 15 quid? 20 quid? 20 pounds. 24.99. Oh, OK, I'm not offended. No? I'm not offended. That's very expensive. You can buy a Kenwood Mini Chopper for £25. See, I feel like the Kenwood Mini Chopper would do the same job, and it also does 10 other jobs that I might want it to do. Yeah, so, it's a very one-dimensional product. I wouldn't mind it. If I saw that for £10, I'd probably buy it. It does the job that you'd buy it for. It's quite hard work, though. I don't know how this is going to make you feel. That's a change from assuming that I'm going to be grumpy, so that's a step in the right direction. Ho, 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 ho! <gasps> it doesn't look or feel like a gadget, because it doesn't look like it does anything. Something, something grilled cheese. And I'm now going to put this, what feels like bit of metal, into the microwave, and that feels odd. This is metal. Is it? You can't put that in there. It's not metal. It's 100% platinum silicon. Um, Tastes like metal. Heats to 300 degrees C. Wow. But it's not metal. In pursuit of toasted sunny perfection, we're very excited to say this really does make incredible toasties, even without any oil or butter. Think crunchy toast with melted cheese and hot right to the middle fillings. Not only that, you may not have considered cooking burgers and sausages in the microwave oven. But when you see this, they'll be done to perfection. So the thing when it comes to like burgers and stuff and stuff like that, you need the heat, the caramelization, you need that process to happen so you get Shot the browning. Ends. Yeah, you get the browning, you get the flavour from the browning. To we'd like you to use this for its primary function, making a toasted sandwich. Hello. Oh, that looks good. Preheat the microwave grill in the microwave for three minutes before placing food on it. But you're a chef. So obviously, you want to test beef burgers. And we have some cracking Bernays sauce here as well. Oh, yes. I want to do it properly and test it properly, so I'm oiling the beef burger. Put the bread on. Slices of ham. Cheese. Going with the pickles. So I'm going to put some aioli on the inside. Oh, I mean, good sandwich. Put my grill on top. Okay. No. Can you squash it first? Squish it. Okay, and now that goes into a microwave for three minutes. Have so... you ever microwaved a burger before? <laughs> no, don't be silly. It's sizzling. Ah! Just got a little bit nervous, sir. It's all fine. Ugh. I mean, if it's got colour, I'm going to be impressed. This is it. Ooh. You guys ready? Yeah. What? I tell you what. Kind of. Okay. Feel it though, it's feeling a bit bouncy. <laughs> well, a bit overdone. Yeah. Yeah. It is hot. It is very hot. That microwave works. You hear that? That is toasted bread. Very melty mozzarella. It's a proper crisp. I'd be happy if I bought that from a cafe, let alone made that from home. I wouldn't notice that it was microwaved if like, I was served it. Really? I wouldn't, th I wouldn't say this is a great burger, but I wouldn't say this is a microwave burger. Its predominant use is cheese toasties first. Yeah. Then it says, but you can do meats on it. I think we've proved that you can do meats. How much are you paying for this? 15 pounds. A tenner? Come on, be a tenner, come on. It's £34.99. Oh my god, oh, come on guys, no. £34.99. It's a lot of money. If that's a, that's a decent cast iron pan. Yeah, but if you haven't got a hob. I reckon that's worth £35. I actually do. We mixed it up. James, you may notice Why? you're... <laughs> You're, you're wearing a blindfold. Why? Does putting the glasses over the top of that mean that you can see less more? <laughs> right up. <gasps> can I smell whiskey? 
two vessels. Two vessels. One glass and one ceramic or something. And they've both got whiskey in them. Nice, nice, smooth. This one feels cold and this one doesn't. Okay, interesting. Have a swig of water, cleanse your palate, drink out the other one, tell us what you think. Well, it's the same whiskey. Mm -hmm. Okay, now take your blindfold off. Morning. Why was I blind? I, there was no point in being blindfolded. I wanted to see whether that heightened your other senses. You have the Norlin Veiled Edition whiskey glass. Okay. The impenetrable black outer wall conceals while the inner wall reveals. From within, the black outer wall creates a perfect recursive infinity mirror. Stray trap bounce around like some cosmic ballet, taking it with the whiskey uninterrupted, wholly reflected and refracted back into itself forever and ever until the sun fades, no, no, electricity <laughs> ebbs, the lights dim and no one can see anything again. I mean, there was a lot of bull in there, wasn't there? Let's be honest. I just want to know whether that makes any difference to you whatsoever. It tastes really different. Does it? Yeah. A lot different. Oh, I was hoping that would really annoy you, but this is better. I'm getting less, uh, how do I describe this? Nasal burning when I drink from this. So what I've done here, I've made the carnal error of assuming he's going to hate it and not really done my research as to how it actually scientifically <laughs> works. And I really apologise for that. Very short-sighted. Shut up! It does it's taste different. Fast. It's almost like it's opened up the whiskey. Yeah. You get, it's like it's been aerated. I do get all the subtleties, all the depth. I'd say it's offering a slightly different experience. I wouldn't say it's necessarily enhancing. The, it's, for me, the biggest thing is the temperature, because the temperature is now allowing me to taste the liquid more. Would that make it into your glass tumbler collection? Can I keep these? Um, you've got to beat Jamie to it. Set of two. What are you paying? I reckon these are probably 80 quid. 100 pounds. 60 pounds. Less than I was thinking. I mean, you just read a minute's worth of utter horse <laughs> at me. <laughs> I mean, do you think Jamie would buy these? No, Jamie would look for a knockoff version of it. I mean, it works. And if you're well into whiskey, then you're probably going to be spending 50, 60 quid a pop on a bottle. It's not outside the realms of possibility that the people that are aiming it at, at would buy it. I, I hate the copy, the copy's ridiculous, no need. How would you write the copy? What would you say? Makes whiskey taste better. Well, you know what we thought, but now we want to know what you think. Comment down below, let us know, toot or... Not toot. Not toot, yes. And if any one of those gadgets took your fancy, give the video a like. I know it sounds desperate, but it kind of is. Oh. Oh, it's good to have you back, Jay. Give us a dad joke. A farmer had 297 cows in his field. When he rounded them up, he had 300. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. That's You're welcome. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days. If you really, really annoyed someone, and they wanted to make you pay for it whilst you were asleep, and they put your manhood in there, and then held you ransom, 